Coming up, I'm gonna share a simple way to find high traffic, low competition keywords, and instantly grow your downloads. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.co, the place, you know the story, the place you go when you want action-packed content in the app business, just strategies that will help you grow your downloads. And today, I wanna to talk about one simple way that you can find really high traffic keywords and low competition. There's a few more categories. I'm gonna share but one of those categories with you today. So. Here's what happened for one of our past clients. They were a Miami-based app, and that's all they were, only in Miami. And they actually hired a different ASO company before us, but wanted some growth hacking help with us. And then I said, hey, just bring it all over. And they said, Look, we're gonna bring it all over. You're gonna help us with ASO. And we doubled. I think it was 117% increase in downloads, somewhere in the 100 teens percent increase in downloads by using the strategy I'm about to lay out for you today. So when I was thinking through Miami, I said, you know, because it's specific to Miami and that was it, I was trying to think outside the box, like what is specific to Miami that I can rank for? Because the app was sort of like a Groupon, but for Miami, and they were helping business owners with the loyalty program. But right now they're just soft launching in Miami. So I looked at the keywords that the other ASO firm sent over. I don't know who they use, but I was like, man, these are just boring, right? Like restaurants, bars, whatever it was, it's just so blatantly boring and lazy in my opinion, because they were just going after really competitive keywords that this app, because it's Miami based, is never going to rank high for. These keywords, they were never gonna rank high for, and they're really competitive, right? So I started thinking outside the box. And one of the things I uncovered was Miami Heat because all I did was look in the app store and I looked up Miami and I saw that the keywords that Apple was auto-populating, one of them happened to Miami Heat and they had good traffic volume and low competition. So here's a simple way to do that. Look, especially if you're doing any type of sports games or games in general or local apps, you're specific to a certain market think through popular sports teams in your region. And I'm gonna show you some of these stats I've been able to find for some of these other sports teams. All right, so let's go into the screenshot. All right, here is some data that I pulled for doing some client work. And here's what I found, right? If you look at sports teams, popular sports teams, and this is very timely because football, one of my favorite sports is just about to start, American football that is. And, and what I wanted to show you was, look at these keywords and look at the traffic volume from these keywords. So if you look at Philadelphia Eagles, for those who are just listening to the audio version of this, traffic score is three, difficulties under one, 0 0.9, search score is 33, so you know that it's right, right? When both Sensor Tower and Mobile Action are saying they have similar search scores, that means it's a good search score. And then Chance for Mobile Action, which is just high, the higher the, the score, the better shot that you have of ranking high for it is 76. So like I said, if you've been following along for most of our videos, when I like using two ASO tools, because if both tools are telling me that a keyword is a low competition, there's a really high likelihood that I'm gonna rank high for it, okay? Now, the only downside to these keywords is that it's really long, right? You got a hundred characters. If you look at this keyword length portion right here, it's 19 characters that you're filling up. That's almost 20% of the keywords that you have to focus on in your keywords fields. So, you know, they're really long, but really low competition. And what we did for the hack was you could put it. So let's say for, if you're Miami, you're focusing on Miami heat. I actually put that into the Spanish Mexico app name. I use those keywords in there because I wanted to hide the fact that we're going after it. But if you think about app name having the most weight from your ASO keyword rankings, I hid that app name into the Spanish Mexico app name. So it had Miami Heat deals or something like that. Deals on Miami Heat games, something like that. So you can cleverly word it and still rank well for that particular term. And that's what I do would do if you were focusing on a particular term like this. So if you're you know, focusing on Boston, you can look at New England Patriots or Patriots in general they tend to have 
low competition both ways. And that's where New England Patriots is probably the best keyword out of all of these because it's an 80% chance on mobile action and a 1.8 difficulty score on sensor tower. So that's a quick way of finding really good traffic keywords and low competition. Let me come back on camera for this. So there are about four or five more categories that I found to have similar scores, decent traffic. So I would say mid to high, some are high traffic and low competition, but I'm only going to be sharing those other categories. So along with sports teams, what else can you target that would be one relevant to your app and two high traffic and lastly three low competition that has helped us. These are other categories that I found the real gems, keyword gems that really help our clients grow downloads. I'm going to share it and I'm only going to be sharing it in the new app masters Academy. Look, it's launching two days from now. I don't have all the courses built out, but you're going to have a slew, a crap load of courses that you can go through. This includes the ASO masters course, the complete course. This was something that was selling 500 for $500. You're going to get, have access to all the modules in that the pay to free campaign that I've talked so many times about, and there's, it's just a no brainer, like strategy that you should utilize and Apple feature coming up soon. So once you sign up, I'm going to ping you and say, what do you want to know? There's a couple of things that are on top of my head. ASO for iOS 11, the Apple feature strategy, and then a few more like influencer marketing, musically type of strategies that I want to walk through with you. So for you people who are getting signed up early on, you're going to help me decide you're going to, well, actually you're going to decide, not help me. You're going to decide what course comes next. I'll probably be doing a course practically every month and then obviously doing more coaching calls within the app masters Academy community as well. So if you're interested in signing up, we've already got a handful of people signed up, which is really cool because I've only been promoting on YouTube. It is at mastersacademy.com at mastersacademy.com. It's $25 a month. I don't know where the pricing will end up, but it will never be lower than what you can get it today. It is $25 a month. Go to at mastersacademy.com. It's launching this Friday, September 9th. I'm super excited to be doing this because it consolidates everything that we've done for our clients and all these little tricks that I've come up with. I'm going to share them with you and you'll have access to all of that. All right, guys, hope to see you there. It is one last time at mastersacademy.com. Bye.